The U.S. imposed fresh curbs on chip supplies to China in a bid to slow the country's advances in tech and weapons. SML cancelled shipments of some of its top-of-the-line chip-making machines to China at the request of the U.S. Semiconductors, the invisible engines powering our digital world. For decades, two giants ruled, TSMC and Samsung. Together, they manufacture 90% of the world's advanced chips, powering everything from smartphones to artificial intelligence. But U.S. sanctions blocking China from buying these chips sparked a crisis. In 2023, China imported $300 billion in semiconductors more than oil. Dependency became a national security threat. Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, or SMIC, plays a key role in China's push for chip self-sufficiency, but it faces significant challenges. The cost involved, the geopolitical stakes, and also the technical know-how. Founded in 2000 by Richard Chang, a Taiwanese-American semiconductor veteran, SMIC emerged from a storied career spanning continents. Chang, educated in the U.S., cut his teeth at American semiconductor giant Texas Instruments, becoming a seasoned expert in chip manufacturing. His entrepreneurial spirit later led him back to Taiwan, where he established Shida Semiconductor, a venture that caught the attention of industry giant TSMC. After selling Shida to TSMC, Chang set his sights on mainland China, where he launched SMIC with a bold vision to build China's first world-class semiconductor foundry. This strategic move positioned SMIC at the forefront of China's tech ambitions, marking the start of a new chapter in global chip manufacturing. While TSMC and Samsung control 90% of advanced chips, SMIC was stuck making decade-old tech until the US handed them a gift. Overnight, SMIC lost access to the $150 million machines needed to make cutting-edge chips. U.S. export controls have made it really, really difficult or impossible to buy the same sort of chip-making equipment that allows them to make advanced chips at scale in bulk and at a low cost. Game over? Not even close. Instead of surrendering, China dumped $150 billion into semiconductors industry. Their mission? Do the impossible to break free. In 2023, Huawei dropped a bomb, a new phone with 7 nanometers chips. The shock? SMIC made them without EUV machines. That's the kind of chip everyone thought SMIC couldn't possibly make, at least unable to make them in the quantities Huawei needed. And yet, there it was. It proved something terrifying for Washington. SMIC was more capable than anyone expected. The U.S. efforts to keep the company in check appear to have had the opposite effect. There is a growing awareness in Washington that there is an unintended consequence to the export controls. Suddenly, the idea that China could never catch up was looking shaky. TSMC and Samsung are now moving on to make 5 nanometer and 3 nanometer chips. SMIC is only at the point where they're making 7 nanometer chips, but in much smaller quantities and not the commercial quantities that China really needs. TSMC and Samsung are making millions of advanced chips while SMIC struggles with scale. But here's the twist. Chinese companies are now diversifying their orders, sending a portion to SMIC just in case Taiwan becomes inaccessible during a conflict. It's no longer just a government push, it's a national strategy. With trade restrictions, new tariffs and geopolitical uncertainty, SMIC is slowly gaining market share, and not just through tech, but through policy. And while chips are incredibly complex, the race is no longer just about nanometers, it's about self-reliance, it's about national power. And it's about who controls the future of artificial intelligence, military tech and global economies. A recent U.S. Senate committee hearing saw top players in the AI industry speak out on the looming threat of China's technological advancements. As a matter of economic security, as a matter of national security, America has to beat China in the AI race. The finish line? A world where semiconductors are weapons and SMIC refuses to quit. If SMIC cracks 3 nanometers by 2030, China could decouple from Western tech entirely. But failure means stagnation. Meanwhile, TSMC and Samsung race toward 2 nanometers and beyond. Can SMIC really compete without Western tech? Will SMIC win? Do you agree? Disagree? Let us know what you think in the comments. And hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.